What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to go over the best settings for console players as well as obviously if you have a controller on PC and you, you know play with the controller, then this obviously will affect you as well. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to go over the basic in-game settings first and then later on in the video, I'm going to go through the advanced settings. Now, in the advanced settings, I know for 100% fact that these that the things will work on PS4 and PC. I'm not sure entirely on Xbox or not. Uh, if you guys do have this sort of thing, I will kind of sh tell you what it is. So this single setting alone uh, basically changed my gameplay and made me 10,000 times better. But the only thing is you have to get used to it and it does take you some time to learn it. But I'll go in in more into that later. So for the, for the settings, we're going to go all through all the game settings. Uh, so we'll just start off with video first. So we have the graphics. I do have a PS4 Pro. So I do have access to the 4K. Uh, basically, I mean, it doesn't really do much. Uh, the 1080p just makes it look um, like darker. Like as you can see, my character, it just gets brighter. That's really all that happens. Uh, I don't know if, you know, the, I, I don't know. I guess it just adds more of a color range and it doesn't really do a lot. It just makes it look a lot brighter and cleaner, I guess. Um, it doesn't really help a, a lot of gameplay, I don't think. Even probably the 1080p would actually look better in gameplay. I just it may cause less lag i'm not sure but i just run it in 4k i don't i haven't changed it to the 1080p in like forever so brightness is going to be your preference you know on your tv monitor kind of whatever you're playing on so i run mine just about in the default it's fine it works for me obviously the adjust screen that's you know going to be your preference uh custom scale now you could use this um it's really up to you uh i i liked it for a minute but I just couldn't see my health bar and it just wasn't good enough for me and I didn't like it because uh, I literally can't see my 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 buffs at all so uh, I just I just turn it off because it's just better just to leave it how it was honestly now that's just your kind of your preferences and opinion but this is you know my settings and stuff so for the audio uh, obviously this is again all preference but I just turn my subtitles off and this is basically all default stuff so what I get into changing stuff a little bit is into the sound so i use i turn my master volume down uh, i hate how blaring sounds are in this game i turn the music off i hate the music especially when you're fighting and you just hear the just the drums fighting and the, the drums just playing do 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 it's just it's i don't like it and i can't really concentrate ambience volume i have this on the lower end effects volume this is going to be the sounds of skills and stuff like dawn breaker jabs you know all that stuff it's snipe even, so you definitely want to hear that. Interface, this is just whenever you're going through the windows and stuff. Dialogue, that's just uh, NPCs, footsteps. This is going to be, you know, I guess people running, I guess. Uh, and then player voice, this is going to be people that are in the area chat. Uh, I'm 99.999% of the time in party, so I don't really notice this at all. So if you do go into game chat... Uh, and people whose voices are blaring, you can obviously turn this down a lot and people won't be so loud. Because I know a, a lot of times in group chat in the game, it's just like super loud and people are just obnoxious. And they're not even trying to be either. Um, so for the template, I have template A. Uh, I think this is just the default one. You just learn on this and it's, it's good. Now there is a setting that I do change. I wish, honestly, we could get this in game the setting that i'm going to do the keybind that i change later on in the video just to be able to have the accessibility to change your skills in the template in, in the actual game rather than having to go to your settings uh in the ps4 or the pc like like they do on the pc is you can change it in game but on the console you can't i don't understand why that's a thing but you know fortnite has it so i don't understand why they can't integrate that into console so for the vibration on the controller obviously turn this off um yeah, it gets annoying whenever you hear a meteor and it's just you have your controller sitting on your desk or something and it's just like <laughs> It's just annoying. So I just turned that off uh, Foot inverse this looks stupid. I this is all visual like as you see my character like bending his knee <laughs> I just leave it. I don't even know it, I think it was on on I guess it just looks cooler. I don't know It's whatever it just makes your character look more natural. Look, <laughs> look at his knee. Oh my goodness. Combat cues. Uh, yes, turn this on because you have to see the custom colors. Now, custom colors. Now, on PvP, uh, 
honestly, you really don't need the colors on for the friendlies because, I mean, it's it's nice to have to you know if somebody's using a rapid, if somebody's using like uh, healing springs or something like that. Sure, it's nice to have, but honestly, in PvP, like you really, if you're like solo and you just have it very very dim, uh, it'll help with your performance. But definitely have the enemy a bright color. I have it white right now. I I, I change mine ever so often. Um, t sometimes it's pink. Sometimes it's bright yellow. But I've been liking white. I think it's nice. It's just it's just there. You can see it. It's bright enough, and it's just different colors. Just to give the game a different feel. Um, prevent attacking innocents. Turn this on. This is the most annoying thing, especially when you're dueling, um, and you're you know fighting. On, especially on a necromancer as you can see my bounty is 20,000 it's annoying um, but just just turn this on so you don't attack people like attack random NPCs quick cast ground abilities now this one is very very important for certain classes so I'm trying to think of anything that really affects us in PvP and I really can't think of anything off the top of my head it's mainly going to be a PvE focus though like shards and Destro ultimate maybe even nova i guess if you're a healer and you use nova in pvp or something like uh, pink does uh having this on makes it to where you don't have to spam it so like um here let me show you oh necromancer that's what it's let me show you this real quick so the reason why you have this on is because this what, what this does right here so you'll see right here let me change my ultimate real quick so we got colossus so i use my colossus you see how this circle comes on I press my ultimate, right? I press my ultimate. Now it does this. So this is an, an instant cast. What this does is it lets you place it. Sure, it may be cool for PvE, but for PvP, you need it to go down fast. You need to, whenever you press your ultimate, you just want it to go. You don't want to just see a circle like this, right? So that's why you have it on quick cast because this will definitely help you. Uh, I mean, as you see, press it, it goes off. So that's why you use the quick cast. Because your abilities actually go off when you tell them to rather than like a predefined setting is what it says this is honestly should be just de default whenever I you press the button I want the skill to go off you know that's that's what I want uh, even maybe this like life amid death or something I don't even know if this does it as well let me see yep see so this go right here like life amid death for the necromancer uh, yeah so you have to press it again to confirm it this is a the stupid thing this should be on always on, so you see how to press it twice. Now I just press it once, and it goes down wherever I tell it to. So that is very that is a very important change that I suggest fixing right away. These are irrelevant. These are just cosmetic. Consolidate area loot. Turn this on. This is going to make it easier to loot stuff. Auto loot. So this basically just sh you just put it in your inventory, and it doesn't show up all the menus and stuff like that. Uh, I guess turn that on. Prevent stealing place items. Yes. That's so annoying. We're trying to go sell to a merchant and you actually steal an axe and then you get attacked by the guards. Yeah. That's annoying. Auto add to craft bag if you have ESO plus, obviously. Uh, loot history. I do like this because it shows what you pick up from like a boss or something. Um, and that is it for this tree. Camera. This is another important one. If you want to invert your camera, this is like, ugh, I can't do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's up to you. I turn that off. I like where I move my thumb is where I want it to go. Um, assassinate your camera. If you're into that stuff, that's cool. Screen shake. This is another important thing. So if you use skills like... Uh, do I have blockade? Yeah, I'll buy it real quick so I can show you guys. So if you have skills like blockade... See how the screen shakes? I mean, that's cool, I guess, in PvE. But that's, that's gonna get... That's gonna cause you to get dizzy. So... I definitely would turn this off. Uh, this does it on several other skills, uh, like Igneous Shield for DK. I know it does it. See how, how much better this looks now? It just looks so much cleaner. Change this skill back real quick. Um, so that's a very good skill to change. I don't know what other skills use it. I've had this off forever, so I don't know. Camera sensitivity, I turn this all the way up. This game is so slow on, on console. Like, this is not fast at all. This is, you know, on the lowest sensitivity. Like, you're trying to fight, and you're trying to look around, and you gotta, like, ooh, what is that? It's just super slow, like, freaking slow motion. I wish you could honestly go faster than this. This is still not fast enough. So, yeah. Definitely turn that all the way up, especially for PvP. Field of view. Obviously, you want this all the way back so you can see. 
First person head bob. I have no idea what this does. I'm never in first person anyways. Third person field of view. I mean, as you can see how close I am, this looks really dumb. I mean, if you have, you know, obviously eyesight problems or something, then, you know, this would definitely help. But for PvP, if you can, obviously go all the way back because you can see how much distance we lose. Like, you see, we okay, right now we can see that blue mushroom beside that tree. We go the field of view all the way in. And we legit can't even see it. We were like, literally feel like a fish. So, turn this all the way back so you can see a lot more. Horizontal position, this is, you know, kind of preference. I prefer it right here. And then right on the A for the horizontal offset. I kind of like to see my character in the middle of the screen as much as possible so I can see both sides. Um, it could be a little bit, it's probably a little bit slightly to the right. But uh, it's honestly fine for me. And that's why I like it. Interface, prefer online ID. Uh, this is just going to be your like character name or your or your uh, actual online ID. I guess just leave the, on automatic quest tracker on. Sure, this is all PVE stuff. Definitely turn on your weapon uh, enchants. So basically, if your enchant goes off on your staff uh, and it runs out, it'll show up. So that's why you turn that on. Uh, armor indicator. Obviously, if your armor breaks. Like if my choke thorn breaks, right? And it's broken, and I can know when to repair it. Oops, wrong button. Um, quick chat enabled. Uh, that shows a bubble above somebody's head if they send a message. Fade rate. Um, that just shows how quickly it fades. I, this is just default. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just do this whatever you want on these two. This is really... Doesn't make a difference. Okay, so nameplates. This is honestly a preference. Um, I feel like it clogs up the screen too much, especially when you're PvPing. Like as you can see, my I have my you know rank and I have my my character's name, at, at my online ID. So I just turn this off because it gets annoying uh, when PvPing, and all I really want to see is my health and you know other people's health pool. So um, obviously, if we have this off, then you know you're not gonna have these on. So. Um, health bars now this is an um, important one turn this on this is very very important because you obviously need to see how much their health is as you see the health bar above my character uh, this is what I can you know see you know I take damage if I take fall damage or something I can see how how low my health is is getting uh, and it's obviously going to be correlative to you know my health bar on the bottom of the screen but this is just a lot lot like actually like see it rather than have to look down to see my health bar uh, it just makes it to where I can see it, you know, all the time, pretty much, when I'm taking damage. Uh, I do the left alignment. Now, you could do in the middle if you want. I've actually been enjoying the left alignment, though. I feel like it's a lot better. Why can't I walk through here? I mean, when I take damage, you see it comes, it goes from both sides. But if I go left alignment, it just focuses on, and it goes from right to left. So, when I take fall damage or something, I guess if I can take fall damage. Hit me, wolf. So as you can see, on my health bar above my character, not but not on the bottom of, of my screen, but you see how it goes from the right to the left. So that's what the left alignment does. Um, and it's definitely nice to have uh, in PvP because you can see actually how low people are. Um, they're both good though. Either way, it's just preference. Damage taken indicator. Uh, I guess it's it's okay. I just turn this on. I basically turn all of this stuff on. Um, frame border this makes it to where you can see it like stick out more um, turn it on so it gives like uh, like the like gold area around my character see the the health bar see how it's gold now it goes away so this just makes it stick out a little bit more so I can actually see my health uh, in you know dark corners and areas and stuff um, so if you turn this on never this will never show up see my health bar went away so basically, you're going to have all of this on everybody. So you'll see like the ads over here, the mud crabs, the, uh, the gloom spore wolves. You'll have this on enemy players as well. So you'll see everybody's health bar right above their head. And that's where you'll notice, you know, if they're, you know, if they're full health or not. So turn all of this on always. That's what I prefer. And I feel like, because sometimes I just, you know, when I make a new character or something, I f just turn all these on because... I don't know what they all exactly do and you got to read it and it's just super annoying but the main ones you need is going to be enemy players because you want to see their health bar and you don't you obviously want to highlight it 
Alliance indicators turn this on all so you can see what alliance they are, either you know blue, red, or yellow. Um, group members, so this is the icon above their head. I don't have you know anybody on right now, but it basically just shows like the group little icon. Um, so you, it's like the little recruit symbol above their head, so you can you know see who's in your group. Resurrectable players. I guess you need this if you're a zergling, but not if you're an exert. <laughs> I mean, turn this on if you want. I, I I don't really know what this really does too much. I guess it just shows that they're dead and you can revive them. Followers. Um, this is going to be PVE stuff. Glow thickness. So this is whenever you um, mark something. So this is on on controller on PS4. It's when you press R3 on a target, and it just causes them to glow like that. This is honestly good for dueling. Uh, I don't do this all the time, I probably should, or if you're like trying to, you know, zerg somebody down, uh, and you can see them through the walls and stuff, see? So you can mark them like this, like mark that mud crab, like over here, and then now you can see them through the wall. I don't, can you unmark them through the wall? You can, but you can't mark through the wall, see? Well, let me mark that wolf, but you can mark them when you see them and, you know, actually see them. Uh, and this will just cause it to glow. Uh, t uh, target glow is what you need to turn on because if you turn it off then I guess I don't know what sure whatever just turn on t turn the glow thickness on on target glow on go intensity interactable glow turn all this on social um, really just preference I have my text chat on big because it's sometimes hard to see on uh, console so just turn it on so you can actually read the stuff that's being said uh, HUD chat so if you want to just take off your HUD you just turn this off and you won't really receive any zone chat messages or anything like that until you actually you know press the you know enter button or press the uh, you know the text text button on your controller turn it off and then it disappears see so a profanity filter if you want to turn that on that's up to you leaderboard notification this is kind of annoying but I mean you can leave this off you can leave this on off it's it's all preference i just leave it on it's just whatever auto decline duels if you're that guy that wants to decline duels then go ahead that's all you uh so yeah uh then ava announcements this is alliance versus alliance so this is going to be in pvp when somebody grabs a scroll somebody is deposed as emperor somebody becomes emperor this is kind of the metric that pops up uh, you can have it on always show automatic automatic is gonna be the important stuff always show is gonna be like when anybody does about anything so That's your preference. Uh, I would honestly turn mine to don't show because I really could care less But I have it on automatic so if somebody drops a scroll or something like that I can go, you know find it and, and like when Volden drug spawns or stuff like that Colors of your chat is all preference. Uh, it's up to you And that's it for the social so from my combat settings now this is all preference so i have been wanting to tinker around with this uh to make it a little bit more appealing to you know watch or whatever so if i'm like you know playing and you know i don't want to see all my buffs up all the time i'll just turn on these on automatic uh and they just won't pop up until i actually take damage or you know i'm start fighting somebody so uh i just turn ability bars on always show this is you know how i've had it forever so this basically just leaves all of your health bar your skills uh, and everything all of your buffs and stuff up so you don't you know forget you know don't realize hey I don't have my armor buff up or something like that and if you are a newer player just getting into the game I suggest turning this on always on because uh, you need to know where your skills are so you can kind of remember um, but that's just you know my opinion so resource numbers I like number and percent it's just just to, to see both you can turn it on either one you want so if you turn it on off obviously it looks a lot cleaner because there's just your the bar um, number only, it looks okay, and then you can you know go to percent only. But I just like it as number and percent. It just looks it looks fine to me. So don't uh, if you want to turn this on, obviously turn this on. But I just have it don't show. I played forever, so I pretty much know everything. And honestly, these combat tips are really stupid and they don't really help you at all it's like oh cc breaking is whenever you hit l2 and r2 at the same time and you literally died to a snare or something like that it's just like that's n you can't you can't cc break from a snare so 
sometimes these kit tips are stupid uh, ultimate number i have this on on so i can see how close i am to getting an ultimate okay combat text so this is all preference uh recently especially in duels um if you're wanting to have you know a lot less clutter obviously turn off your combat text um but i if i am you know in pvp and i don't want to see all that numbers sometimes i like to see you know how hard i'm hitting um but you know it's all really preference at the end of the day uh, sometimes, you know, if you just don't want to see it, you just turn it on off, and this is what it looks like. I do like to see my healing, though. If I turn this off, I won't turn it off all the way. Um, I will turn off, you know, my actual... So I'll show you. So I turn it on on, and then just turn off outgoing. So this is going to be outgoing everything. Uh, damage and whatnot. Now, I do leave on... And I do turn off incoming damage. Uh, because it gets super annoying and clogged up i mean because you could already see you know your health bar taking damage like this why do i need to see the, how much they're hitting me for right that's kind of my opinion on and then you're you know taking damage why didn't it show up okay incoming damage right here see like why do i need to see the 600 damage and then you know see you know 388 healing it just gets a lot uh, cluttered up and you just all you just see numbers you just see numbers and i don't like that at all so i turn my incoming damage off now i may leave on my incoming healing and stuff like that but i will turn off my incoming damage i feel like it is even damage over time um but i honestly just turn off all incoming damage because it's just uh, it just clogs up the screen and it's really the main main things especially when you're outnumbered is when to see what you're healing yourself for because if you get a heal from someone else that's okay you know it's no big deal um, but you really you really don't care about how much they healed you for I mean at the end of the day if they heal you great, but uh, It doesn't really matter the main thing I, I like to see is my healing and you know the damage I deal rather than damage I take because I can see my health bar above my character as well as you know at the bottom of the screen So I don't have to know, you know, oh, this guy hit me with a 10k end cap like ooh, cool You know, I don't really care about that and honestly gets you too focused on how much how hard they're hitting rather than you don't you deal you dealing damage to them um, so I have show so I have all of this on on except for uh, outgoing pet healing. Now maybe I should do that because I have the mender. So um, it's kind of whatever. So yeah. So obviously incoming off. So I have show over healing. So this is going to be important. As you've seen, I've seen my you know actually my heals with my res resilient flesh. Uh, so you just turn this on on, and this is going to show you the you know the healing even when you're full health. This is very very powerful. Uh, especially when you feel like you are desynced uh, and you want to see if you're actually healing yourself or if you're debuffed or something like that uh, like with the major defile or minor defile you can see how much you're healing yourself for so you can see uh, that's just preference on my part so buffs and debuffs now i have all this on always show so buffs are going to be you know my food as you've seen before my food is on on now so you can see my food is up and so i have self buff this is going to be like my armor buff my mender my arcanist you know that sort of thing so self debuffs this is going to be like my the heal my resilient flesh how i got the major defile or the minor defile from giving it to myself this is really irrelevant like you're not going to be self debuffing yourself really at all and it just clogs up your screen i wish we could get a way where we can like change and you know see what buffs we have so we can turn them on and off and you know get like a kind of a thing where we can see you know kind of more customizable is kind of what i'm saying target debuffs this is going to be for pv pve mainly um but this will help you with pvp because as you see here above you know on the top of the screen you'll see he has a minor vulnerability on him uh so you can see you know the debuffs they have on them like uh degeneration you see the dot and then like the, the champion thingy uh and it also shows stuff like elemental drain it'll show several things so that's like kind of that's very very important especially in pvp i uh, to see kind of what debuffs they have on them so show debuffs applied by other players on your target so this is going to be like so say for instance somebody hits ellie drain on this little ghost here and it, it'll show up you know that they have ellie drain so it's not a big deal uh it's just that's mainly for pve stuff so long effects this is going to be the food 
Uh, I like to know my food's running out. I used to not run this, um, but I feel like, you know, it's a nice thing to know. So you don't like, oh, my, fo my food ran out and you're trying to like fight a whole zerg and you're trying to eat your food. Whenever you can see it and it's about like five, ten minutes to go, you just pop another one so you don't have to ever have that problem. And it's just one little, uh, you know, one little block down there. So it's not a big deal. Permanent effects. So this is going to be effects like your Munda Stone, uh, ESO Plus, you know, stupid stuff like that. Like the Munda Stone, ESO Plus, and reusable parts. Uh, it's honestly stupid. So just turn that on off. You, that's just going to clog it up even more. So for the event settings, so for the PS4 specifically, uh, you need to go to your settings. And then you need to go to accessibility. Scroll down to you see button assignments. And then you'll see enable custom button assignments. Make sure this is checked and go down to custom button assignments. Click that. And then you'll see in the middle of the screen, you'll see the left directional pad. I want you to press X on that. And then scroll down to you see L3. This is what I personally use. You can use any button on the PS4. Uh, but basically what this does is this now changes the L3 to the left directional pad. And it changes the left directional pad to L3. And then you just press confirm. So basically with this change, what this does, this what, what this allows you to do is, so so once you change this, so you're going to now, your left directional pad on PS4 controller is going to be your sprint button. So you basically just tap, just hold it down with your finger and start sprinting. So you just move your left analog stick up like your regular walking, just tap the left D-pad and you'll start sprinting. You don't have to hold the left directional pad at all. You just tap it once and you start sprinting and then you just let go of it. And then now you just move your left analog stick like you typically do. Uh, when you're playing so basically what this change does is now when you press down on the left analog stick it'll swap bars for you so what this does is inherently i can jump and not have to move my finger off my left analog stick so i can keep moving and bar swap at the same time before you have to take your thumb off of the left analog stick or you have to claw and move your left index finger to swap bars while you can keep moving but regardless it's not very comfortable and after a long period of time you're going to get a hand cramp 100 percent you're going to get a hand cramp and you're not going to be able to play very well so uh it's just a, a lot more comfortable to just tap the left directional pad just to sprint and that's it and you can jump sprint jump move around uh, swap bars. What this does is it allows for smooth transfer of skills. You can see I can hit this skill, bar swap hit this skill. It allows for some smooth bar swap canceling. So you could just bar swap, heal, bar swap, heal. You could dodge roll, bar swap. You know, you can do everything so much faster and cleaner. And it really helps with your survivability, even to the point of your sustain. So you don't have to dodge roll just to not take damage. So you can bar swap. You can literally bar swap, get behind a tree, you know, do all the normal stuff. Um, it does take some getting used to though, definitely it will take you some time. So I used to want to swap back and, you know, change, change it back to the left directional pad. I changed this back in like 2016 or 2017. Somebody had told me about it. Uh, I don't remember who, but I, I gave it a try and I'm really glad I did. It has honestly made me so much of a better player and it's honestly a secret that, you know, not a lot of people know about. I have, I bit, I made a. So I did a video about this in the past. Uh, I was just, you know, a smaller content creator at the time, so I didn't get a lot of recognition. So I feel like now that I have, you know, a more of a following, uh, this can definitely help a lot of players because this helped me tremendously. It will cause the player skill level to go up in ESO because being able to bar swap fluidly, uh, you're going to see a lot better players because if you've been playing default for however long you've been playing, uh, you're definitely missing out and this will definitely make you 100% better. Just give it some time. You will definitely be a scrub 100% for about two to three weeks uh, after changing this because you're, you're, you're accustomed to using it the old way. Just give it some time and you won't regret it. Trust me. You will come back to me and you will say, dude, thanks for telling me to stick with it because this will make you 100% better. So that's really it for the settings, guys. You know, that's basically the secret setting that I have. It's not really a secret, but... Uh, I went through all of these settings and kind of showed, you know, kind of what I run and kind of and what they do for the most part. I didn't go super in depth into that. Uh, it was just, you know, just kind of skimming over and showing you guys, you know, kind of what I used. But if you guys did enjoy and this video helped you out at all, please consider liking and subscribing. And that's it for me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.